Hi guys. Um, thank you for um, joining with me and and hanging out with me today. I really appreciate it. Um, I want to say happy. Happy Easter, happy good, happy good, happy good Friday. Um, with all the craziness going on, we tend to forget what this day is all about. Um, this day is all about the fact that our Lord went to the cross and he died. And as I thought about the death of Jesus, I thought what a wonderful just what a wonderful time to reflect on the death of Jesus because at this time we're going through a lot of deaths in our, in our lives. If we're not going through physical death, we are going through uh, the, de the death of our, some of our freedoms, our ability to go outside and socialize and be with our families, be with our friends. And we're going through all of that. And, um, and, and the Lord's been saying to me, it'll rise again. Um, the, Lord, the Lord just keeps on saying, with all this um, social distancing and, and the death of close contact and the death of um, being able to socialize, to go outside, to go to the movies, to go visit friends. The Lord is saying that it will all rise again. And all of this is for something even greater. The Lord has great plans for the world. Um, I said this several times. I said, um, I don't believe God sent Corona, but I believe God is going to use it to restore his people to him. And God is already using it to restore his people to him. So hold tough. God is still God and God is still on the throne. And he wants you to know that he loves you and that he sees you. He sees all the pain. He sees all the heartache. He sees everything that you're going through. And he's so close to you. And he wants to know you to know that he's close. And he wants you to know that you are wanted and that you're loved. And this is not because of something that the world did or you did or whatever. This is just because of life happening. Sometimes things happen in life and we have no idea why. We have no recourse to why. We, we don't understand it. And the Lord is really asking when we can't, when we can't trace him, we need to trust him. And in our vulnerability, even if we can't, we don't know, even if trust is hard for us, he's just asking for a little bit, as much as we can give him. And if we give him the little, he, um, the little we have, he can work with it. He can work with whatever little trust we give him. He's, he works with where we are to bring us where he wants us to be. So he wants us to be authentic and really tell him where we are. Really tell him that we're scared. Really tell him that, Lord, this is what I, where I am. And I believe that this is not empowering fear. This is just saying... This is where I am, Lord. And if we can admit where we are, he can deliver us. And remember, um, 
everybody is at a different place. So if you're at a place of great faith and you know God's there and you know God's working through, that's good for you. Um, but let's not look down on others who are not at that place. We're all different and we all process things differently. And some of us are up one day, down another. And that's not to say that we're better Christians or we're not good Christians if we have faith moments. Faith moment, faith, um, moments that we don't have faith um, are natural. The problem becomes if it becomes a regular thing, if we live there. Moments of lacking faith, that's fine because we're human. But the problem comes is when we habitually live in uh, the no faith zone, we have to trust. We have to know. And even if we don't know for sure that God is God, we have to just have mustard seed knowing. People often talk about mustard seed faith. Well, I say even mustard seed knowing. If you don't know for sure, just a little bit. God can use just a little bit of hope and a little bit of faith. Honey, don't lose hope. Don't lose faith. If you can hang on just a little bit longer, you will come through this. Us as a nation, us as a world, we will come through this. And it will it will look different at the end, but it will be um, at the end. God will work this out for his good and our good. He's I honestly believe that God is working some big things out through this coronavirus. I believe that God is going to send medical. Um, I heard a prophecy from uh, a lady that was on uh, It's Supernatural, which is a program um, from Sid Roth. Um, and one of the guests he had on there today, she was saying she saw God not only downloading um, medical discoveries for coronavirus, but discoveries for different cancers and Alzheimer's and things that uh, we couldn't find before. So. I think all this tragedy will give way to glory that we haven't seen. We just have to hold on. We just have to stand strong and know that God has us in his hand. Like the old song says, he's got the whole world in his hand. And I know it's hard to see, but we've just got to believe. We've just got to believe that God is still God and God is still on, on the throne. And he still rose. I heard a preacher say, the resurrection is not canceled. And I totally believe that. His death is not canceled. The resurrection is not canceled. So hang, hang tough, um, beloveds, because God is going to do something great through this. And we'll look back and say, wow, God was doing all that through this tragedy. And I'm not trying to say it's not bad. It is bad. People are losing jobs. People are dying. People are depressed. But the Lord will have his day. The Lord will have his day where he, he will show his glory in a myriad of ways. I don't know how that will be, but I'm, uh, I live, I'm living the expectation that it will be glorious. 
however it takes form. Lord, I bless you, and I and I thank you for your lovely people out there, Lord God. I pray, Lord Jesus, that you will comfort them, Lord Jesus, that you will bring answers, that you will bring that you will bring supplies to them when if they need it. You will bring people around them if they need it by phone, oh God. I pray that you give them give them what they need. Answer every prayer. Answer every need. If they need jobs, oh God. Give them that if they need whatever they need, Lord Jesus. Give them that, Lord Jesus. Let innovation rise. Let expectation rise. When the devil's at his, when the devil's at his best, you are you are even more at your best because you are working everything out for your glory, Lord God. You will get the glory out of Corona. You will get the glory out of this awful circumstance that the world is facing right now. I believe that answers that we haven't even thought of will come to pass. I believe that people will come, come plucking the U.S. like never before. I, I can already see churches starting to rise up like in every for immunity, churches starting to give and to be the church. You've taken our confines of church and now you are reinventing us. And Lord, we thank you, Lord, for what you're doing. We praise you and declare that you are God of this world and no coronavirus, no devil in hell will stop you. In the name of Jesus, amen. Send your love. Send a big hug to Italy, Lord God, and all those places most affected, oh God, to every home that's been affected with coronavirus, oh God. Send your love. Send your healing on every, on every, on every, headache on every flu-like symptom on every chill-like symptom on every shortness of breath lord god restore oxygen oh god restore oxygen oh god where there's a lack of oxygen bring physical breath where there's a lack of physical breath lord jesus bring physical breath where there's a lack of physical breath in the name of Jesus. I declare sinuses, get back into order. I declare breathing for everybody, get back into order. I, I declare everything set to rights in the name of Jesus. I rebuke every devourer, Lord Jesus. In the name of Jesus, amen. This will not take the world out. This will not take the world out. But this will, this battle will make us stronger. This financial crisis will make us stronger. This food crisis will make us stronger. This health crisis will make us stronger. Lord God, as a society, and as a community and as a nation, oh God, as a world, oh God, I declare that that laws will come out of this that have needed to come out for a long time. I declare that the world will work together like never before, Lord God. I dec I believe God that in this in this pandemic, you are showing us holes in our different societies. And I believe that you are bringing solutions to minds, oh God. You are bringing health solutions. You are bringing food shortage solutions. You are bringing unity to, to the world, oh God. Not only to the body, but to the world, oh God. I praise you for what you're doing. I praise you for how you're unifying. 
I praise you for being God in the circumstance. Cause the church to rise up and take her place. In the name of Jesus, I'm I'm so honored to to be part of the body of Christ in this time. To know that she is taking her place, she is taking her rightful place. She cannot be stopped. She changed forms. We were in the same form for too long, but you've allowed us through this virus to change forms, to minister outside the four walls and really get to where people were online. God, and I pray that you'll continue to increase pastors that are leading the front line, oh God. I pray for the health of your ministers, oh God. I pray for the health of you, of your generals, oh God, that are that are standing strong in this time, that are ministering, that are leading, oh God. I pray for every business leader that is leading, that is leading the charge, every independent business leader that is leading even two or three employees, oh God. Keep their strength up, strengthen God, heal them, restore them. Although they may be broken and questioning how they're going to go on in their business, Lord, God, lift their head in the name of Jesus. Break the chains of apathy, O oh God. Break the chains of depression. Breathe life where there's been death, O oh God. Breathe hope where there's been hopelessness. Breathe, breathe, breathe peace where there's been chaos. Breathe into us your breath, oh God. We need your breath of life to go in this challenge, oh God. In the name of Jesus, amen. So guys, I'll see, I'll see you on, on Sunday for Storytime Sunday. Take care. Bye. Be blessed.